Hey everybody, Matt Thompson with the Champions Tour and Skeeter Boats. I just, uh, we finished up with Pelican Lake and I'm fortunate enough that I got a second place out there and had a heck of a day on Big Fish and I really, really wanted to show you the keys to my success and I couldn't have done it without Bagley Baits. So, the, the first thing that I was doing was the Bagley DB1 and what I found with the DB1 is if I had areas that were more shallow, rocky on top, surrounded by the weeds, what I would do is I would kind of pound the top of it with the DB1 and pick off as many of the active fish as I could on top. But the biggest key to my success was doing a pattern that really nobody else was. I, I, I watched everybody working the weeds around the rocks and they were so thick and so heavy and so matted that everybody would fish it as weedless as they could with the standard Texas rigs or jigs and flipping. And there was some really good fish caught in practice doing that, but you can only lean on those fish so long and so many times doing that. And I was fortunate enough to have fished a weedy lake just like that with a guy named Scott Walsh, which Bagley throws a certain thing out. And I watched him working these Bagley baits in the weeds and catching some really good fish. And I asked him, why, why would you ever work that hard? And his answer was, because nobody else will. And I had that screaming in my head during the tournament. So I put on the Bagley DB2 and you cannot believe the incredible size average that I caught on this bait during that turn. Uh, I was fortunate enough to catch pretty much every big fish that was caught in the turn. I caught all the fish over five pounds in the turn. I would have ended up with a five fish limit of 27 pounds. And what I would do with this bait is I would dig it in, I would throw it out, and I would begin my retrieve just enough to dig it down and I had to hit bottom with it. And as soon as it would hit the bottom, I would keep my rod tip up and I would maybe get three to four cranks. And if I could get three to four cranks on that bait and get it just scraping the bottom, I would either load it up with a four to five pound bass or I would load it up with 40 pounds of grass and immediately wind it in pull all those weeds off and repeat. And the key to my success with that bait was A, like I said, willing to work harder than anybody else and use a bait that truly is designed to just reach steps and cover a lot of ground. But I used it as a dig them out of the depths. But I wouldn't have had those baits. Uh, I'm fortunate enough here on the Champions Tour to be incredible friends with Tony Hat, Begley Pro Tony Hat. And I came to him at lunch because I had lost the two baits I had. And I begged two baits off of him at lunchtime at our lunch break. And I don't know many tournament anglers that would have reached into their box given the last two that they had, especially to somebody that was probably going to either press them for a check or possibly pass them for a check. So without a doubt, Bagley Bates, but Bagley Bates Pro Staff, top notch.